hey everyone welcome back to another new exciting video so you know that yesterday plot code has published another new exciting feature which is sub agent so what is basically sub agent suppose you are building one project and there many personas are required you can say that many agents are required so here you see that one agent is required for code refactor one agent is required for the prd writer one agent is required for the project task planner Another agent is for vibe coding coach, another is for security auditor, another is for front end designer, another is for content writer, another is for back end, another is for software architecture. So in this way, you can say that uh, there are uh, six to seven types of agent is required if you want to build a great product using AI or you can say using this cloud code. Okay. So these are called this sub agent here you see that this person has built seven custom sub agents for cloud code and he has shared one repository with us so we can do this uh, repository setup later but let me tell you how you can add this sub agent in your cloud code so this is the great document that cloud code has shared with us here you see Create and use specialized AI sub agents in cloud code for task specific workflows and improve context management. Custom sub agents in cloud code are specialized AI assistant that can be invoked to handle specific types of tasks. Suppose you need help in front end architecture, then you can call that front end sub agent. Okay. Or if you need help in this uh, soft software architecture, then you can call that software architecture sub agent. And uh, here you see that they have written all of these things in detail. So you can read these things. What are the key benefits, content preservation, specialized expertise, and this reusability means once created, sub agents can be reused across different projects, share with your team for consistent workflows and also flexible permission so what are the permission that you want to keep all of these sub agents like read access write access all of that you can uh, do the setup here you see you just simply type slash agents now you will get this kind of interface that create new agents so i will show you detail and uh, here you see you will find this create new agent and after that you will you can do this define sub agent save and use later okay and there are two locations that you will find one is this project sub agent and another one is this user sub agent so basically if you go to your uh, this one so if you go to your c drive so in case of mac or in case of linux you find your c drive folder and there you will find this users in windows and uh, in this profile you will find this dot clot so if you go to this dot clot here you see that currently there is no agent because we have not made any agent till now so that's why no agent folder is showing and if you create any agent folder uh, or you can say if you create any sub agent then in that case you will see a agent folder here okay and uh, this uh, Project subvision has the highest priority and user subvision has the lowest priority. So I will show you in detail. And, and these are all the markdown file. Here you see that markdown file will be created. All of the subvision will be a markdown file and it will be a dot md extension and all of that information that what that subvision will do will be defined inside that markdown file in this way. Name, description, tool, blah, blah, blah. Okay and uh, these are the available tools etc etc okay now let me show you one uh, simple example that uh, this person have shared on twitter after that we will move to do the setup okay so he is an actually engineer at uh, this cloud code and he has shared one uh, good demo video here you see that build an mvp for my uh, for my food delivery app and here you see that this backend architect sub agent got called and after that here you see next this front end developer architect got called sorry front end developer sub agent got called and then 
this payment integrator subagent got called so till now this three subagent got called and then deployment engineer got called okay so these are total four subagent here you see and after that where we see that another subagent may be get called okay so he has done this setup for this uh, four subagent and you see that it is actually amazing in different color you can do this setup what is the color you want to choose you can do that i will show you in a little bit of time later and uh, so these are the things this is in this way these subagents will actually work one by one in parallelly okay so now let's do this setup so for that make sure you have this cloud code installed in your device and let me open this terminal and uh, let me open it again for you guys okay so let me go to uh, my project where is my project let me open it and go to inside my d drive and this is my project and inside this project let me open my terminal and here just write cloud okay and now press enter and yes proceed and welcome to cloud code and inside this so just uh, it is telling that missing api key so let me just log in in my cloud code okay login yes i have just uh, i will just use my console account and now it is saying that build something great the verification is completed now yes now it is saying that login is successful please uh, press enter to continue press enter welcome to cloud code now here if you just write slash agents and now here you see that manage agent configuration so just uh, select it and now it is asking that create new agent just press enter and now it is asking me that project or personal so you remember that i mentioned these two things so let me take you to this official documentation and these are the two locations file location project sub agent and user sub agent right now i will select this project sub agent because it has the highest priority and uh, if you select it then it will be very much helpful let me show you how okay so just select and now select this generate with cloud it is recommended press enter okay now it is asking me that describe what is this agent should do and when it should be and be comprehensive for best result and if you go to their official documentation then uh, you will see they have given some of the rules that uh, how to define this uh, sub agent means it should be very much specific and all of that things but the interesting thing is that if you want to uh, keep that system prompt so these agents are basically a system prompt so if you want to define this uh, sub agent for the front end architecture then you have to write this that system prompt in a better way so i have found one way to write that system prompt here you see that i got to uh, i went to this cloud.ai this is the official website of cloud and there i asked it that you are an expert in writing highly effective system prompt and cloud has released this new feature sub agent here is the documentation so i provided this sub agent uh, documentation link okay so where is that here you see i provided this link and now i have just asked it that follow each persona guidance from here and i have given this link so this is a super cloud link that i have given so if you go to the super cloud framework github repository there you will find that um, a configuration framework that enhances cloud code with specialized command cognitive personas and development methodologies so we need this cognitive personas okay so uh, if i go to the super cloud and uh, here you see that inside the super cloud folder we have this code in and we have this personas.md so i have given this link in description if you click on that link you will directly go to this uh, page okay and here you see that personas.md file inside that they have uh, defined this 11 domain specific personalities that means here you see that technical specialist this is one persona and another person is for the architect 
okay another person is for the front end another person is for the back end so what they actually do they will uh, use these commands and what are their expertise they have defined all of these things in detail as a as a uh, system prompt okay so if you scroll down below you will find all other uh, personas security and this mentor all of that things so how do you actually do just copy this uh, link and uh, provide it here and now just define that output uh, artifact for each person in markdown that will be used for each agent in cloud code so i will give this whole uh, prompt in description you just copy it and paste it in your cloud.ai or you can paste it in uh, chat gpt also whatever you prefer but i prefer this cloud.ai because uh, it is free for use uh, there is some limit for the free user but uh, here you will find this artifact like feature so now suppose i want to build this uh, persona for this uh, for this for this uh, for this optimizer okay or you can say that i can uh, build this architect persona so before uh, building any project I want to call this architect persona so that it can give me the best architecture that we can use in our project okay so what I can do I can copy this here you see that I have uh, I have all of this persona related MD file so first I will copy this architect dot persona I will copy it and let me go to this cloud code and here paste it okay here you see that I have completely pasted it now another thing is that I have given this person uh, link in description. He has actually uh, built seven custom sub agents for cloud code to see, uh, help me save faster. So these are the seven most needed uh, custom sub agent. And uh, in that case, if you if you use these personas or sub agents, you don't have to generate manually from this cloud code. Sorry, you you don't have to generally manually uh from this cloud.ai okay so either you can use this in this way or you can use these persons okay so if i go to his github repository that he has shared this link uh okay so if i go to this github repository here you see okay he has given this agents folder so inside this agent folder if i go this is the front end designer.md so you can what you can do you can copy this uh, whole file description and paste it in this here in this way okay now if i press enter now here you see that generating agent configuration okay so if i show you in a more specific way here you see generating agent configuration now it will create that uh, agent uh, folder inside the dot cloud let's wait for it here you see now it is asking me that select the tools so you remember that i uh, discussed about the tools so you can keep access to it uh, read only tool edit tool or execution tool mcp and other tool so as in software architecture it doesn't require any edit tool right it only give us the instruction that you do it in this way or you change it in this way you follow this rule so we can give it read only tools access we don't need to give it edit tools access we just give it to this uh, read only tool access now if it is a front end engineer or back end uh, engineer sub agent then in that case we can give it all tool access or you can give it uh, this edit tool access or this execution tool access now in this case i will give it edit tool only access okay so now press enter Now continue here you see that uh, automatic color and the color that I was mentioning here you see that uh, different types of color remember that the example that I have already shown you why is that example man 
yes this example here you see that there are different different colors that you can do the setup so that it looks very beautiful and currently i am uh, choosing this pink color it is looking very beautiful right system architect now if i press enter here you see that this new sub agent is ready for me and now press enter and here you see that it is now showing this system architect project agents okay now here you see and um, and now here you see that uh, this is the project agents this cloud agents okay now this is actually a project specific agent okay so this is actually a project specific agents so if i go to my project folder you will see that dot cloud uh, folder got created inside this there is a agents folder okay so uh, this is actually a project specific folder now if you want to create that user specific also what where is that where is that where is that this one user sub agent so if you clear create this user sub agent then you can reuse that uh, across all project but here you see that this is the lower priority sub agent so that's why i always recommend you to use this project sub agents so that for each project defined all these agents now one thing you can do that create one agent folder and inside that paste all of this md file okay maybe there will be uh, 9 to 10 uh, sub agents so paste all of that md files inside that agent folder now inside that all uh, uh, projects like if you want to start a new project so in that case just create this dot cloud folder and in the root and inside that paste that agent folder and inside that agent folder uh, that md file of all of the sub agents that you have created will be present so light uh, here you see that uh, this person share this cloud agent this person okay so he has also written that uh, copy the agents to your projects cloud dot cloud slash agents directory so in this way inside this agents here you see that there are multiple md files so you can create this type of md files whatever number of md files you want to create you can create and uh, when you want to build any new project so just copy that agent folder from one project to another and just paste it okay where we have to paste it here you see that you have to paste in your project just create this dot cloud cloud at the root and inside this cloud paste that agent folder and inside that agent folder you have this .md file i hope now it is clear to you guys that how to create this sub agent and now if you just uh, click on this system architect now it will do all other things here you see that i have chosen this system architect now it, you can uh, choose this view agent or delete agent or back okay so if you want to delete this agent you can delete it if you want to uh, edit this agent you can do that also now it is your choice okay so i hope now it is helpful for you guys how to create uh, this type of sub agents and uh, if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also because when i make this kind of videos any kind of videos i always want to make it in such a way so that people can understand because in youtube over the youtube i have found that there are many channels who are making this kind of videos but they are not specifically telling you the way you should create the folder how it will be uh, means what is the procedure so that everyone can understand okay so no one will tell you in this uh, specific details step by step procedure way so i am telling you so if you found this video helpful guys this detailed explanation video don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye and don't forget to watch the other videos that i have also published for you guys only